Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your November 2024 career and money energy reading for the collective. Hello, hello. So this video will resonate with you whether you're underemployed, employed, or simply seeking insights into your financial and career path. The reading is designed to offer clarity on the energies that currently surround your situation, no matter what it is, okay? I'll be explaining each card individually. After I summarize each card, I'm going to provide a detailed breakdown in each of those categories, which is underemployed, employed, or just general financial energy at the end. And it will be time stamped for your convenience. Let's get started. This is the career and money reading for the collective, November 2024. Let's get our cards collective. What do we have, spirit? Oh, okay. <laughs> when I make those noises, guys, the deck like explodes on me. First card is the nine of wands. Interesting. Yeah, fought some battles. That's definitely, um, but I feel like we kind of all are in like the nine of wands with inflation and with everything just becoming, okay, thank you, spirit, becoming like so expensive, but we're going to leave politics out of this. Second card is the three of wands. Okay. That's that that does represent, you know, growth. Our third and final card here is please spirit for the collective career and money. What do we have? Okay. Come on. There we go. We have the Hierophant. All right. Well, we do have our major arcana, um, which is interesting here. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, a very good card, um, especially when we're talking about money. You know, the Hierophant obviously is um, the major arcana for Taurus. I'm going to let you know that um, from an um, astrological standpoint, you know, we're, we're looking at a lot of fire energy with this card combination, but we're looking at a grounded approach at the same time. Um, wands, um, you can be collective, um, dealing with any type of influences from Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then... Someone in your life or a situation is providing some grounded energy with the Hierophant. Let's go ahead and break down the cards. So, of course, the Nine of Wands is about resilience. Obviously, it's um, in, in a career situation. You are tired, beat, battered, and bruised, and you've been facing nonstop challenges in your job or money journey. That is definitely the case with this card. We do call it the wounded warrior. You're beat, battered, and bruised, but you're standing tall. You're being resilient, and you're still pounding the pavement. I believe that this card is a message to tell you to keep going. You're close to a breakthrough. I want to let you guys know that despite these obstacles collective, your determination will be rewarded. And what I like about the card combination for you is that we are highlighting out the gate one energy. This is our fire. So no matter how many setbacks, um, when, when I'm looking at this, I know that you haven't stopped and you've you've dealt with some self, some setbacks. Definitely. But you're. Although it has it has let you down and could have hurt you to your core, you haven't given up. And that's the key. What I like about the three of wands and the heart place is this shows that you are looking to the future. What I like about this collective um, is that you know that something needs to change. You know that something needs to change. You are looking to the future to explore those possibilities or those opportunities. And it's taking you out of your comfort zone. This has probably been something that some of you guys have never been through before. Um, we've all have had to pivot, you know, in this um, I, I, collectively, you know, in this new financial climate. Um, this is just some of the worst times that some of us, um, especially if we are of a certain age, have has ever seen. And it has um, brought about challenges just with the way that we do things. What I like about this card for you guys collective, uh, collectively for all of us, it's that we, we we're learning how to pivot. OK, and the three of wands is that it, it, it represents growth and progress. It is saying that whatever work you've put into this collective you're, is about to pay off. You're already demonstrated resilience, right? This is about to pay off. You know, this card is encouraging you guys to please keep focusing on those goals. Success is on the horizon. And trust me, 
even with me being a content creator, I've seen um, a lot of changes just on the platform, just to give you guys a personal uh, parallel. And they're making it harder and harder, you know, for people that's been in the game for a while to just be, you know, to, to stay relevant and stay the course. And some of these numbers and things that you see, trust me, it's hard for everybody. But I do this for you guys. So if you guys are in a struggle as this reading is kind of um, suggesting, I want to let you know, especially in these career and money readings, to just stay the course and be, 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 um, um, whatever, whoever you pray to and whatever you believe in, just stay prayful, pray, prayerful, sorry, and stay optimistic. It's a reminder with this three of wands to think big and look ahead to the future because positive results are coming. I think that you guys are already there, but let's talk about the Herophant. Like the Herophant is structure and guidance. I think that with some of us having to pivot collectively and do other things, I think that this is encouraging us to stick to a plan. You know, structure and traditions and things of that nature is what this Herophant card represents. So in a career and money type of situation, I think that it's it's definitely an encouraging card to advise you or to guide you to stick to a plan or a system that is going to provide you with the most stability in this unstable time, if that makes sense. And I believe that it can be from a variety of reasons, whether that's like following mentors advice or just touching up or brushing up on your skills through training, sticking uh, to like a traditional career path. I believe that this card is saying stay grounded and take a disciplined approach because the more you stay at it and you're grounded in what you want to do in achieving these goals, I think that it will help create um, a long-term success story, okay? Wow, I love this. I really do love this card combination. I think that um, this is great, um, but let's go ahead and break down each of the categories, which will be um, timestamp for you to, below. Um, let's start with the underemployed. I feel like a nine of wands reflects your struggle, of course, of finding the right opportunity. Please keep pushing because, again, as I stated, you are near a positive change. The three of wands is signaling upcoming growth and opportunity, like I stated. Stay focused on those goals, but be open to different paths. I think the hardest part about this particular financial climate that we're in is that a lot of us has had to pivot, as I stated, and try to do new things in order to bring money in or to change our attitude towards money because the old ways ain't working. We still have to be traditional in the way that we do things, but we have to explore new ways of doing things. So I feel like you're being guided, underemployed to be open to different paths. The Hierophant, again, is suggesting to find a structure in that, like connecting with mentors or people in your field or whatever, training options that can help you find a stable and fulfilling role. And just please stay optimistic and um, stay at it, okay? Now, for the employed, the Nine of Wands is acknowledging the challenges and the hard work that you've put in currently at your job. It's encouraging you to keep going. You've obviously hit some type of roadblock or you're feeling very underappreciated. Of course, um, you're probably not feeling like you are being appreciated at, at your work. It's probably not reflected in your money. Um, it's not reflected in some of the things and you've probably grown a little disenchanted at work. This three of wands is pointed to growth opportunities that are on the way. And I believe that if you just stay in that nine of wands energy, and I know that it is hard, that card is telling, encouraging you to keep going. But the three of wands is, is suggesting that when you keep going and you continue to grow, just stay the course a little bit longer, that your efforts will be rewarded. I think our hair font here is the is our saving grace because again it's advising to stick to those proven methods for you employed folks and seeking guidance from people that you trust in your work environment. Please, 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 before I end this one for the employed. When you're in a situation and you're disenchanted and you're disgruntled, please watch um who you are um telling your business to or who who you are um who you talk to about how you feel. 
Um, this particular year with North Node, South Node being in Libra and Aries, South Node being in Aries, I'm sorry, in Libra specifically, should have exposed a lot of snakes. For the employee, you probably have already, the grass has been cut and now the snakes have been exposed. So for you, it is, all three categories are critical. But for you, please, 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 please make sure you trust this person. If a hair font is in your life, this person is trustworthy, okay? So this hair font, again, is here to if you're going to seek guidance from that person, make sure you trust them and it can open you up to some new, some new career opportunities. But keep your circle small there because it can get um, especially until the north node and south node changes. And then when it does, I'm going to provide you a little bit more forward advice. Also, when the south node moves into Pisces, which will be, I believe, in a couple of months, I believe it's January 2025 when it's going to change. If it's not January, it's June. Don't quote me on that, but I'm going to bring you content on it anyway. Then you're going to have to worry about people blowing smoke up your ass. So just please make sure my employee folks that you trust who you're talking to for all three, but especially for you. I believe that the hair font um, is going to provide some guidance for you if that if that is a, a, a person. Um, I believe that the hair font uh, for you employee folks is going to just encourage you to um, do what you know, your proven methods that already work. And if you just stay the course, this card combination is suggesting that there's going to be some new career growth that's going to come to you pretty soon. OK. And finally, for just general financial energy. This, again, I believe is still a good card combination because the nine of wands is talking about your perseverance, even when you have faced financial stress collective, as we all have. I think the three of wands is a positive sign. Again, that positive um, returns or gains on investments are coming soon. You know, that is about growth anyway. So I think that that's a good sign. And then again, my example of what a saving grace would be is right now. Although we do have to look and find new ways to do things, we have to also trust our proven methods. I know that may sound like a contradiction, but I think the Herifont's message here in general financial energy is to just trust your plan. Whatever new way you've had to pivot and look for new ways to make money or to replenish money, you just have to stick to what works. And I think that's budgeting, that's saving, that's getting advice from an expert, um, anything that you can do to build financial security. And if you haven't done anything, now it's time to find what your hair fund is, okay? Um, but I think that overall, that's still as the major arcana it does signify for me that something that's going to come in, whatever is going to represent your hair fine in your money situation collective. And I think that a little bit more financial security is on the way. All right. All right, guys. So this wraps up the reading. I hope it resonated with you. Um, please make sure that you check out those timestamps for the detailed uh, summary of each category. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this. I've been wanting to do get back to money energy, especially now. It's just been kind of hard to do that, even for me. Um, but I think that this is a good positive reading for that. So thank you so much. Let me know how you're rocking with it. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, collective.